This is a tutorial on how to do nice tidy slip stitch edges for double knitting. I have got a swatch here, blue on one side and white on the other, and as you can see the edges are nice and tidy, there's no uh, crossing of colours, there's no ugly knots or twisting or anything, and the only thing that happens is you get a tiny little bit of one colour peeking through on this side, and then on the other side like that. But I think you'll agree it's probably the neatest way of doing edges that you'll have seen for double knitting in flat. I love it and I do it all the time. So how do we do it? First of all we need to knit across until we get to the last couple of pairs of stitches on the needle. So that's exactly what I'm going to do and I'll join you when I'm there. So here we are, two pairs of stitches away from the end of the needle, and it's only the last pair of stitches that are actually involved in this manoeuvre. So let's dispense with these, knitting the first, and purling the second. Now the first thing to do is to slip that first stitch purlwise from the left needle to the right. And the next thing we want to do is we want to bring the colour of that last stitch, we want to bring that yarn forward, but it's important that it comes across over the top of the other yarn. Now me as a two-hander, there are two possible options here. Either the colour of yarn that I want will be in my left hand, which it is in this case, or it'll be in my right. If it's in my left, it's going to be really important that I do a little manoeuvre in order to bring it to the front. And that involves bringing this yarn, lying it over the top of the, of the white yarn, then and only then bringing the white yarn forward. What that does is it affects a little twist in the yarns which will lock the two sides of the fabric together. Let me show you that again. So I've got the blue yarn in my right and the white yarn in my left. So what I do, having slipped that first stitch, is I lay the blue over the white and then bring the white yarn over the top of the blue forward between the needles and then I can slip that last stitch as necessary. This gives us, as you can see, one yarn sticking out of each side of the work. That means when we turn the work around and we're ready to play on the other side, we need to bring those two yarns back together and the way to do that is nice and straightforward. So first thing to do is I always take my needle under the yarn at the front because uh, that stops things getting twisted up later on and then knit the other stitch with the yarn that's conveniently in the back and happens to be the right colour because we set it up to be that way. I'm going to knit that stitch there then I'm going to bring that yarn towards me. This brings the two yarns together again at the front of the work. Now what I need to do is uh, purl this stitch with the colour of yarn that's required which would be the opposite yarn from the one we've just used. Now it's time to take both of those yarns back to the back and set up however you like to for double knitting. In my case, it's with a yarn in each hand, and off I go. The other possible outcome for a two-hander like me is that you will find when you get to the last pair that the colour of the yarn you need for the final stitch is in your right hand. Well, this is a very, very simple way of sorting that out. After you've slipped that first stitch, purlwise, you simply bring that yarn to the front and slip the second one. I'll go back over that. If you can see, the white yarn is already underneath the blue yarn, so we all we need to do is bring that blue yarn to the front and it comes in over the top of the white, ready to slip that stitch. There we are set up again with one yarn poking out of each side and when we turn it's exactly the same as it was before. Knit with this yarn, bring it to the front, purl with this and carry on as before. This is what gives us these lovely slip stitch edges which are so neat and tidy. You do get the elongation of the edge stitches because they've been slipped on every other row rather than uh, worked on every row like the stitches in between, but I think you'll find that's a tiny price to pay for such lovely, lovely, neat and tidy edges. There we are, slip stitch edging for double knitting flat.